welcome and review by DJS PRC. Today I just wanted to take the time to show you how to solder any IC5. Uh, I want to convert this uh, Gen Ace 5000 uh, for cell. It has an XT90 on it. I want to remove it to be able to add an IC5. Now the IC5 is in the same family as the EC5s to the differences it has the third pin in the middle when you have a smart charger or when you have a smart battery uh, one of the first thing we're going to do here is I got to remove this connector I could just cut the wires and resolder but that's not what I want to do I'm just going to pry this off without touching two prongs put my cap there and basically what I'm going to end up doing here I do apologize for the shadow <laughs> uh, I'm just going to hold it heat it up until it pops off like this I just don't want this one to catapult or snap into the other connector. Now I'm going to remove my positive out of it and my negative. I have my connector in my jig already. Don't want to forget to put this on. I'll pop this one already on my negative. I'm just going to put the battery there. What I'm going to do now is pre-tin my connector. That way, when I'll come with the connector, he put a connector, the wire itself, I won't need to heat up the connector as much. Because if you heat up the connector too much, basically what's going to happen, you're going to melt it. I just put a little bit on the connector here don't need a lot now what I'm gonna end up doing I'm gonna put more on this connector I know a lot of guys and gals that do soldering that don't do that that's me I've been soldering for more than 30 years never had issues and been soldering in electronics and even in car audio for vehicles now I'm gonna grab my connector bring it in the back of the battery I'm gonna heat up my wire now I see my solder is melting and I'm gonna bring it to the connector and wiggle a little bit and stop I'm going to be holding it until I see the kind of the shininess of the solder disappear. This is just practice. Uh, I've been, like I said, I've been doing this for so long that I just know exactly when I can let go of my wire. Uh, for sure, the heat will go down the wire itself. It won't damage the battery because I, I'm up to here. I barely feel it. Um, believe it or not when you use your batteries in your vehicles that's where it comes hot too that's just the nature of the beast now what we're going to do take out my jig i'm not going to forget to insert my pause them on the other side of this connector and if you're wondering which is positive which is negative I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it here but you see the positive and negative round is negative half of a moon let's say round and flat is positive it's clearly written on the side here if 
Because on the physical cap, there's nothing written. You got your three holes, and that's it. Now I have the positive left here to do. Just gonna put it back in my jig. And if you're wondering, this jig is the hot racing jig. I should don't remember the part number by heart. It does split in two. You can do a multiple wires or um, connectors. The uh, barrel plugs. And here you can do Traxxas, Deans. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Now again, I'm going to put some solder on this guy here. And like I said, you don't need ton. And if you, see, you look at it right now, and I'm not sure if you can see it correctly, but it changed color. It's not a shiny kind of matte. That tells me that the solder is basically cold. And the solder I'm using, uh, it's uh, 6040 if I remember correctly. I just don't have the label on it. Uh, with resin core in it. I do not use soldering paste. Basically, the soldering paste is acid. It will eat your connector, things like that. You use soldering paste when your wire is corroded a bit or your connection is bad. Uh, if you look any uh, soldering components in electronics, they do use a little bit of paste because paste will double your heat at the same time. And it can, like I was saying, it, it can corrode. They make sure when they do use it on electronic parts, like an electronic board, things like that, they remove it after to make sure it doesn't corrode anything. I'm just gonna flip my battery to have my positive or align. And if you're wondering why I'm using this mat underneath, it's anti-slip mat. I just don't want my jig flying. It was, I saw it once or twice happen that when I'm trying to solder, it starts slipping. And then next thing you know, you're taking your soldering tip and you're touching both both of your prongs and bad thing happened. Sparky. When Sparky comes and sees you, you know something's wrong. Now the connector will be hot, that's normal. But again, I always take it and try to wiggle it. And I know that it's solid. I'm just gonna pop my cap. Sometimes these caps are harder to, to pop. And I don't have There we go. And it's capped. And here's your IC5 on a 5000 Gen Ace 4SL. Now, if you guys have any comments or questions, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you. And don't forget, if you like this video, subscribe. And if it helped you, hit that like button in the corner. It does help the channel. And if you wanted the part number, SPMX CA501 IC5 battery connector. It's a two pack. Thank you for watching.